got another Rough Draft DIY video for you. This just so happens to be my second video in a row about garments, but never fear, this is not becoming a fashion show. I am still dedicated to all things DIY, learning how to make things yourself in order to save money. There will be more power tools and paintbrushes in upcoming videos, but this video is about making your own Halloween costume because tis the season. I want to show you how to make a last minute original costume without breaking the bank, burning a lot of time shopping and sewing, and most importantly, without showing off your bits. Because you could go the lingerie route. So, who are you supposed to be? <laughs> I'm the devil! No, you're not. You're in your underwear. So then you think, I'll just wear that thing I got on my trip abroad because while I was there I thought I came all this way, I should buy something cultural. Hey, who's that guy? And then no one knows you're a lady. So then you think, I got this. I'm gonna make my own costume. It's gonna be original and it's gonna come from a character that means something to me. I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna knock their socks off. Cool costume. Thanks! I made it! it took like three months. The materials ended up costing about a hundred bucks. What are you supposed to be? I'm the queen of hearts, you... There's gotta be a middle way. And there is! For just 20 bucks you can assemble a decent dress from the Salvation Army, a tube of fabric paint, a bobble headband, and in just two afternoons we can make a ladybug. Of course, if you get the dress secondhand, wash and dry it first, but no fabric softener or dryer sheets because they can prevent the paint from adhering to the fabric. Lay the dress flat, front side up, and line it with wax paper. This keeps the paint from seeping through the fabric and sticking to the other side. Use cups to map out where to put the dots before making any marks. You can keep arranging them until you have the perfect layout. Use a pen to make outlines. Then apply the paint. The paint kind of comes out thicker than we need, so use a brush to lightly spread it around. It needs about four hours to dry, so we'll do the back of the dress tomorrow. It's the next day, and the front part of the costume is very dry, and we can get started working on the back. And you can make just about any critter with this method. It doesn't have to be a ladybug. You can very easily make a bee by painting yellow stripes on a black dress. But the thing about the insect costumes is that you very oftentimes need to wear wings. And that's just one more thing you have to buy and then store and throw away. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I don't like to just throw things away. I actually prefer to make things out of what other people throw away, like this dress. So I'm going to paint the wings on the back of the dress, or rather the round shell that covers the wings on a ladybug. And what I did was take string and tape it into the form of the shell. I'm going to mark around it with pen, and then I'm going to use my cups and paint dots within the shell. You got the hot pants, I really like them. I got your picture on my locker. You got the hot pants, you play the guitar. Got your band t-shirt, I wear it every night. You really drive me wild when I see that. And done! A $20, unique, cute, and feminine costume. Trick or treat and party ready. No question as to what you're dressed up as, and no private parts roaming free. A very special thank you to Jennifer Lee Stockton of Jenny and the Defects for letting me use their music in this video. You can check out all of their songs at jennyandthedefects.bandcamp.com and I'll put a quick link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Check in every month for more DIY videos and be sure to subscribe to my channel below. I want more. Church in the morning. I love church. <laughs>